Hey everybody, today I'm going to do a video on the official Irwin plushies that I still own. I've sold a lot in the last year making room for all the new 20th anniversary merch. So this is what what is left over and I'm pretty sure I'm going to be putting these on eBay tonight. But I wanted to show you first, um, before I did that, I'm going to show you Sailor Venus first. Now, I never removed these plushies from their packaging because... I was a weird kid <laughs> when these came out. Um, they're very cutely sized. They're uh, not large. They're pretty small, but they're pretty cool, you know. The eyes are like this oblique type uh, fabric thing. And um, is anyone missing their brooch? No, everybody has their brooch. There's a version of this that came with a like jewel type brooch that was really shiny and pretty. Um, that's not the version I have. It's actually the version that they show on the back of the box. See how Moon has a jewel, Neptune has a jewel, and Uranus has a jewel. I used to have them. Once upon a time, I had them, and I sold them for like 13 bucks, and I totally regret it. But uh, that's the life of a Sailor Moon fan, isn't it? Um, each one of these has a very long, long tag that um, says Sailor Moon right there, and a whole mess of other stuff, and it's very, very intrusive. Uh, I never played with these. I liked them and I didn't like them at the same time. Here's Sailor Pluto. This one's pretty cool. She looks just like herself and she has her little bun and uh, her kind of semi ponytail that she has. She's very cute. It seems they decided to go with a bluish black on the uniform on this one. There's always some debate over what color is Pluto's uniform. And it seems Erwin seems to think it's like a extremely, extremely navy. The back's the same. Um, everything here just says like, the story of Sailor Moon. Let me tell you the story. Um, <laughs> I'm not even going to bother reading that. <laughs> but here's Sailor Pluto being so Pluto-licious and cool. Um, same thing, she's got that long ass tag on the back of her. Um, this, this tag, ugh. I would totally have removed that if I had the option. My Sailor Mars. See, the eyes are kind of faded on all of these. I think it's just um, the way they were made. This says I paid 16 bucks at Blockbuster when I originally bought it. It also says it's soft and cuddly. I'm not sure about soft and cuddly. She's, she's kind of hard. There, so you get an idea of the size. These plushies were really not bad. They were based on the Japanese ones that were released. Um, I just um, don't feel like they're soft and cuddly. And oh, here's Mercury. Mercury's like super stuck to the back. She's she. I can't. I can't free her. You're you're just stuck. She has like a twisty tie around her neck. Poor, poor Mercury. I feel so terrible. Um, these boxes are actually really nice put them on display. I have them on top of the dresser and um, they just stand up so nicely. It's it's a lot nicer than having a loose plushie. Um, and here's Luna. I used to have Artemis, but now I'm left with Luna. She chubby. She has a tail in there. Let's find it. <laughs> That's really hard to remove, but she has her tail. You can't see it. It's in there. Trust me. She's not like a weird non-taily cat. Hmm. It's not much else to say about these except that uh, Erwin made them, ages four and up. <laughs> these are all from, uh, well, this one says 1997, which for some reason I have a hard time believing, seeing as uh, Pluto is here. Um, Pluto's uh, manufactured, oh yeah, nope. Pluto says 1998, and I'm pretty sure that was before the... Uh, that uh, 17 episode, lost episodes, full moon marathon thing on Toonami was. So I think it's very curious that, uh, I have to look this up, but I think the plushie came out before Pluto was um, shown in the US. Let's see, this one says 98. Apparently everybody is 1998, except for Luna. Yeah, Luna is 97, everybody else is 98. Um, they later made versions of these with um, yellow boxes or light colored boxes. Um, I guess I just have the older ones. Um, so yeah, that's a look at the official American plushies that came out in the late 90s. Um, if you have any questions, just ask. Um, 
and thanks for watching. Bye.